Uh, hello everybody, uh, in today's video, um, hey, not so fast, <laughs> just kidding, um, don't worry, in this video we will go through um, each of those pictures one by one and I promise you by the end of this video you will uh, see uh, enough of them. So it's all begin um, exactly one year ago when we moved from uh, Ravensburg um, to uh, Cork, uh, a small village in the outskirts of uh, Kell. And the day that we uh, drive in the village, uh, my wife spotted um, a bird in the field um, quite far away. And she was like, hmm, I think there is a pheasant there. And I was like, what? A pheasant? Uh, there's no pheasant here. And of course, as usual, uh, she is always right. Uh, the next day, I went outside and looked in the veranda, and there we go, a couple of hundred meters away in the field, there was a male uh, pheasant uh, roaming around. I was very excited because before uh, we moved here, um, I never saw a pheasant alive in the wild before. Um, the only few specimens I saw was actually uh, a dead stuffed animal in the museum. And come on, I mean, they are quite uh, a pretty colorful bird. Uh, I did uh, what I usually do when I first um, found a new uh, species of bird for me. Um, grab the camera quickly and then take pictures. Uh, no real aim. Um, it's just about getting the bird in the frame. Um, but one thing that I noticed uh, right away was that uh, the bird was actually uh, pretty shy, um, especially the female. Uh, for example, this uh, picture was taken with the um, Nikon D850 with the 500 millimeter uh, lens plus 1.4 uh, teleconverter, and I still cropped that picture. Here is a picture of um, um, the male uh, popping out of its uh, um, green uh, habitat. Um, then the male and the female together. Um, I like the picture even though it's not a great uh, image because again as I said uh, the female was very shy. Uh, I barely uh, found them. So the next day uh, I decided to use the longest focal length I have, the 800mm uh, f5.6 uh, IES manual lens. I used it with um, the D500 to get even um, closer to the subject. The result was slightly um, closer and I could not step in the field because it's someone else's field. Um, they already have crops in them. I don't want to, um, you know, to make people um, angry. So I took this uh, picture of a male pheasant again with the D500. Uh, coupled with the 800 millimeters f5.6. So my field of view is then kind of the equivalent of um, roughly uh, 1200 uh, millimeter. Um, again, as you see, it's not really like a tight uh, portrait of, uh, of the animal. Um, and that lens is also quite a pain to use with a, a DSLR because um, I'm not used to uh, focus manually and the viewfinder in uh, the DSLR is quite um, small, so it's difficult to confirm focus. On the other hand, uh, with live view, um, it was very difficult to uh, frame the subject because I always find it easier when the camera is um, on my, uh, in front of my eye. So I was not satisfied yet. Every time I had the opportunity, always looking through the window or roaming around in the field looking for them. And one afternoon, um, I spotted uh, two males uh, foraging not uh, far from the edge of the field. And so I uh, grabbed my uh, D850. Um, attached there was the 500 millimeter uh, a four lens plus 1.4 teleconverter. So it's a, 
700 millimeter lens then. And um, I took uh, this picture, which is kind of the first picture I was happy with. Um, the, the smile is showing nicely uh, its tail and although the, the, the surrounding is a little bit of a mess, um, I still kind of like it because actually it's um, the habitat where um, the animal uh, live. But of course, um, I was still like um, looking for a better uh, opportunity to take pictures. Um, unfortunately, um, summer kicked in and uh, the, the mice in the field and the grass was like so uh, tall that actually I did not see them um, that often anymore. So the next time that I managed to have a nice um, a view on them was not before uh, October. Here is a picture of this, uh, again, a male uh, uh, foraging in this um, a field with some quite nice uh, flowers around. That day I was using my D850 uh, with the 600 millimeter lens plus a 1.4 uh, teleconverter attached to it. Um, I like this picture because again it shows um, nicely the habitat where uh, the animal lives. But that day was um, actually one of the uh, most successful days with the pheasant I have because I even managed to um, get one uh, in the flight. This male was flying um, kind of more or less towards me. Um, the light was um, from uh, my back, so I have like a kind of a nice um, angled front lighting uh, on the animal landing. I admit though the, the picture was not like tack sharp. I had to sharpen it a little bit in a topaz uh, sharpen AI. Um, but, but I like it. I mean, I think it's the best uh, flying uh, pheasant I uh, took so far. And uh, finally on that day, um, here is again um, this uh, picture that made me uh, bought the Nikon Z9 um, because I was really struggling um, to uh, keep track of the, the head of the, the animal um, foraging in this uh, field with flowers. And this is one of those moments when going out there, um, taking a photo is really rewarding because you uh, see and you capture something that um, you would not notice unless you uh, took that picture, for example. I thought that the animals were like foraging, like I don't know, seeds or something like that on the, on the, the field, but actually they were picking this uh, green caterpillar um, on the flowers. And then um, I got the Nikon uh, Z9 and I, that was then also the last picture of a pheasant that I took with um, my DSLR camera. This um, close-up portrait of this uh, male was taken with the Nikon Z9 coupled with the 200-500 millimeters f5.6 um, zoom lens plus um, a 1.4 teleconverter. Uh, these pictures uh, illustrate nicely um, the fact that uh, a prime lens is not always uh, the best um, solution for every shot. Because I think in my opinion, because I was just hand holding the lens without the big uh, tripod setup, the bird did not feel like kind of threatened by my presence and, and come um, quite close actually. That animal came very close to me. If I would have used the 600 millimeters, it would be closer than my minimum focusing distance. And I would have to uh, step back. But in addition, um, I took the pictures um, in a lower angle as possible. That would be quite difficult with a big uh, heavy lens. Um, it was also um, a nice 
an uh, example of um, the, the power of the Z9 uh, compared to the DSLR camera because Nikon's DSLR cameras are really um, a pain in the ass when it comes to a live view autofocusing. Uh, they are just completely useless. But with the mirrorless camera, it is working just like the viewfinder. I did not have actually to lie down on the ground in the cold while taking this picture. I was just sitting and I used the flip screen to frame the image and to um, take uh, the picture. So I kind of got then my lucky shot, the snapshot and the close-up portrait of uh, of the pheasant. After that, I start to think about composing the shot and start to study the bird and to think about uh, what else can I uh, capture and to do something more experimental as well. For example, I really like these pictures um, that I took with the Nikon Z9 plus the 600 millimeters f4 lens. Um, the animal kind of like look into its habitat and then look at me. It's kind of showing like, yeah, that's where I live. Uh, also, um, these kind of accidental pictures where my shutter speed was dropping quite low. It was very early in the morning. There was not enough light yet. And uh, I took these pictures uh, with a shutter speed of one thirtieth a second while using a 600 millimeter lens. So it kind of show actually how good the image stabilization in the camera is because my 600 millimeters f4 lens does not even have an image stabilization. This image was taken with the in-body stabilization of the camera plus just a, a lucky uh, panning shot. I also redid this um, head in the sea of green grass, just like this red head popping out of the sea of uh, green grass. Um, again, taken with the uh, Nikon Z9 at 600 millimeters uh, f4. Um, here is a kind of an extreme uh, version of it. We just see actually the, the head of the animal and uh, also um, <laughs> one of those rare occasions where I met the uh, female uh, pheasant. Uh, this is actually kind of I think it's the only uh, nice picture of the female pheasant that I have. They are very, very shy. Um, anyway, on that morning, I also noticed um, a behavior that the, the male exhibit early in the morning, especially in this season. They will call and then also uh, flip their wing. And it's quite amazing and exciting to see it in, in the field. And I was like, oh, wow, uh, I want to take a picture of that. So the next day, uh, I took out again my uh, Nikon Z9 plus 600 millimeters with a 1.4 teleconverter attached to it because I know that the animal will be quite far away. And I would like to have like more tight uh, shot of the bird while it is calling and flapping the wings. Although I use such a long focal length, um, most of those images are again still uh, cropped. And in this um, image, I even used the DX crop mode um, in the Nikon Z9. So I'm actually already at uh, 1,300 millimeters roughly. And still some of the image I had to crop because I still had too much room around the, the image. So yes, I followed this uh, male um, and waited until he did his tricks and yeah, he did it. Um, the yellow uh, patch in the background is actually a building, an ugly uh, industrial building, but I kind of like it because the yellow uh, patch in the background there kind of symbolize a little bit then the sun coming out. So he did his nice uh, wing flips and I was pretty happy with the shot. Here is a kind of a close up when he called um, and with the wing uh, flip again. 
But that morning as well made me think of an era of photo opportunity. I was like, yeah, actually they do it early in the morning. I have now a nice picture of the bird um, with its color and with all of its glory, uh, calling and flapping the wing. But how about having actually um, the bird calling with a backlit uh, situation where I will see then kind of this light through the wing? I think that will be great. Um, the next few days when I had time, um, took again my 600 millimeters uh, F4 with 1.4 teleconverter attached on the Nikon Z9 and I was very lucky that day because I met again this uh, male uh, pheasant and he did exactly what um, I expected. And the sun was just rising and he started to call and flapping his wing. And there was even something unexpected that kind of enhanced um, the photo because the weather was still very cold and when they call, uh, there is this uh, steam coming from their mouth and, and I really like it. You can see it nicely um, in this uh, uh, picture. And yeah, and, and that's it. I'm very happy this is kind of then my uh, journey with um, the pheasant here in uh, Cork Kill. Germany. Next time will be an exciting video because I wore dirt, kind of an almost uh, dream lens for me. I'm not gonna tell you yet, but um, we will see it um, probably next week. So until next time then, bye!